this outline here and the one that we did in the class, all these work. This is for a five paragraph essay. Some teachers look at this and this is going to be a challenge. Other teachers look at this and they're like, you know what? I think I could take this and, and not have, you know, we have our main paragraph with, you know, A, B, C supportive paragraphs. But some teachers are saying, you know, I could do uh, multiple. I could get an A paragraph, a B paragraph, a C paragraph, a D, an E, and maybe an F. All right. So that would be awesome. Remember, that when they grade these, they look at length. So five paragraphs, that's, 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 that's in the range of 400 to 500 words, okay? So, so you know, that's, that's, that could be a two, it could be a three. So if you give them a couple extra paragraphs and you get into that range of, you know, you're between 550 and 600 words, well, they're going to have to take a closer look at what you wrote. And I think that would be in the range of more threes, threes and fours. Uh, not everyone's going to write this or this on the day of the test. Some teachers are going to be here. That's okay. What, what I don't want to happen is that you, that you write 300 words. Yes, try and go as much as you can. R your first three paragraphs are the most important. So A, B, and C are the most important. Uh, D, E, and F, they can be, they can be stretches, okay? But you have to win the argument. You have to prove your case with A, B, and C. These are the most important. Um, okay, I want to, I want to, uh, and then we, we have our intro that previews all our ideas. We have our body of all those paragraphs. Each one of these are supporting paragraphs that backs up our thesis, whatever it is. And then we have our conclusion. Yes? Okay. So when you when you go home, when you're home now, you should you should use this outline to think about all those case studies that we did. You should use the case that you should use the case studies that we worked on, and you should use the case all those different case studies and think about all the different ways, all the different ways you could argue the case. Uh, advocate for the issue, advocate against the issue. This is an this is appropriate. This is not appropriate. And in that way there, if you talk this stuff out, you'll have a much better, you'll, I think you'll do better and you'll, 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 you'll be able to create this uh, a lot faster on the day of the test. How much time should you spend on this, this outline on the day of the test? For the persuasive essays, how much time should you spend? Yeah, I think 10 minutes, I, I think five minutes. Five minutes is, is, is a good goal, okay? If you've done your planning, Five minutes, I think, is very reasonable, but maximum 10, maximum 10, because then you have to write and then you have to edit. So if it's, if it's 10 minutes, it takes you, I mean, you should be able to do it in five, but if it takes you 10, you got to have to factor in at least 40 minutes of writing, and then you're going to have to factor at least 10, 10 or, or 15 minutes of editing. I mean... If I do 10 minutes of editing, then you're at 60. Okay, five to 10 minutes here. Is this fair? Shoot for the 600 words. I want you to use this one from the class for the, for the summary essay. Now, how long is the summary essay? How long did we say that one has to be? How many words? That's what we're gonna work on now. 150 words. So we're thinking 150 words here. So that means uh, the intro is, I'm gonna put down one sentence. And then we have our supportive paragraphs, A, B, C, and our conclusion. Each one of these, A, B, C, matches up with a paragraph, okay? So you're taking paragraph one and you're summarizing it in one sentence. Then the next couple of paragraphs, you're taking each one of those supportive paragraphs and you're turning it into maybe one or two sentences, one or two sentences, one or two sentences, and one closer. All right, so you're, you will have some case study, will have four paragraphs, okay? I'm asking you to take the first paragraph and turn it into how many sentences? One. The second paragraph, you're gonna boil down into how many? One to two, one to two, one to two, 
And then you're going to have one sentence closer. So I think if you do it this way, the shortest this, this summary essay is going to be is how many sentences? The shortest will be what? Five. But the longest will be what? Eight. I want you to shoot for the eight, okay? All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go into our case study now. But eight would get you around 150 words. All right, five would get you around 100 words. Shoot for more than five. Uh, let's do our case study. Hi, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.